Hello, hello and namaste, my dear yogis. Welcome to day nine, Rise and Shine, third day morning yoga journey. Today, I'm inviting you to free yourself. Free yourself and feel the freedom as you move and breathe on your mat. Ready? Let's get started. For today's practice, if you would like to explore a full split, make sure you have two yoga blocks near you. And we will begin in extended child's pose. Big toes to touch, spread the knees as wide as feels comfortable to you this morning. Extend the arms in front of you and melt yourself down to the mat. Close your eyes. Begin to tune inward. Igniting your ujjayi breath and allowing the breath to flow freely throughout your body. The more you try to control something, the more it controls you. Free yourself and let things take their own natural course. Today, I free myself. Today I free myself. Take a glorious in-breath and release your intention to the universe. Today I free myself. Lift your gaze and then walk your hands all the way to the left as you're bringing the right palm on top of your left, keeping the right seat bone, seat bone on your right heel, and then lower the forehead back down to the mat. Breathe into your right side body. Deep inhale. Deep, long exhale. Lift your gaze, walk the hands back through center all the way to the left. Bring the left hand on top of the right, both sitting bones on your heels, lower your forehead down. Relax, breathe into your left side body. Inhale. Exhale. Walk the hands back to center, and then go ahead, send the arms back behind you, interlock all 10 fingers at your lower back. Squeeze the heels of your hands. Inhale, squeeze the shoulder blades, send the knuckles up, ground your forehead back down to the mat, and reach the knuckles overhead as much as you can. Good morning, shoulders. Freely breathing into our sensations. One more breath here. Letting go, slowly roll yourself back up. Extend the arms in front of you. Make your way to all fours, tabletop position, hips over your knees. Let's stretch our wrists. I want you to pivot your fingers towards your knees, shoulders on top of the wrists, and begin to invite some movement. You're gonna drop your hips down to the heels and allow the heel of your hand to come up. And then forward, bringing the shoulders over the wrist. And then sink and lift. Sink and lift. Beautiful. Move with the breath. I free myself. Feeling the freedom in the movement and breath. Now pause here, sitting bones on the heels. Lift the heel of your hand and just find a little movement side to side. Feel that stretch even in your forearm. Make your way back to center. Now bring the fingers pointing to the edges of your mat and then begin to lean to the right and left and right and left. Bear weight on each hand. Very nice. 
Now from here, go ahead and flip your palms to face skyward. So see first one hand, if that feels okay, then go ahead and bring the other hand. Straight arms, breathe into your sensation and free yourself from any tightness. And if you want to go deeper, try to create a feast as you're closing your fingers together for five, four, close and open, three, two, and one. And slowly bring the palms back down to the earth. Ooh, sink your sitting bones on the heels and give your hands a very nice shake. Shake it out, take a few circles. That feels very good. Switch the direction. And then let's find our first downward facing dog. Sitting bones nice and high. Take a breath in and out. Begin to invite movement. Moving freely. The way your body wants to move. Let go of your control. Just tune inward and listen. Surrender. Find stillness. Inhale, come high to your toes. Exhale, ripple forward, plank pose, shoulders over wrists. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, you're gonna lift your sitting bones, arch the lower back, and then push, push back. Make your way back to downward facing dog. Now let's move through these two poses, one breath, one movement. Inhale, high to your toes, plank. Exhale downward facing dog warming up the spine inhale forward to plank round exhale like a cow pose arching inhale forward to plank like a cat round exhale like a cow arch inhale forward plank exhale downward facing dog inhale plank Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, hinge forward to plank, pause here. Drop down to the knees and come all the way down to your mat as you're bringing the hands outside of your mat and lower down to your belly. Come high on your fingers. Inhale, lift yourself up into a cobra, straighten the arms. Exhale, drop your right shoulder, twist. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lift shoulder. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, right. Inhale up. Exhale, lift. Inhale all the way up. Pause here, ground your hands, straighten the arms. Coming here into a nice seal, relax your glutes, lift your heart. Free your heart. Today, I free myself, full breath in and out, beautiful. Make your way to a kneeling position, take a child's pose for one breath, breathe into your lower back and let it go, beautiful. Make your way to downward facing dog. As you inhale, sweep the right heel up high, single leg down dog. Exhale, bring the right knee to your right tricep. Pause, slide the knee down to the wrist, lift it back up, slide it down and lift. One more, down and up. Move that knee to your left tricep, slide it down and lift, down and lift, down and lift. Inhale, single leg, down dog, stretch it out. Exhale, step the foot in between your hands, low lunge. Inhale, high crescent lunge, raise up. Exhale, find dip. Pushing that left heel to the back. Inhale, straighten the bottom of the legs, rise up. Exhale, go deeper. Sink. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, sink. One more. Inhale. Exhale, sink, press that left heel to the back. Good, pause. Inhale, find a twist. Reach the left arm back behind you, right arm in front of you, shoulders over hips. Take a breath in. And as you breathe out, you're gonna hinge forward, hinge forward. Sprinkle the fingers down to the mat or use a yoga block. 
begin to float the left heel up into revolved half moon pose. Stack the right shoulder on top of your left, flex your left foot, imagine you have a wall behind you and you're pushing that wall. So feel the activation throughout the entire leg. Breathe in and out. Ground your right hand down, look down, bring that left knee to your chest and raise up to standing. Tree pose of your choice, foot to your inner thigh, calf, or toes down on your mat. Plug the hands to your heart. Glorious in breath. Allow your lungs to expand to the fullest capacity and then softly let it go. Reach the arms overhead. Open your branches. Find energy through the fingers. Breathe in and out. Reach the arms back behind you, interlock alternate fingers, squeeze the shoulder blades, inhale, puff up your heart. And as you exhale, ground your left foot down and then fold forward, Uttanasana. Let go of your grip, inhale, find chair pose, sink nice and low, arms overhead, stay here, or take Bakasana, Crow Pose. Ground the hands, come high to your toes, knees underneath the armpits, lift your sitting bones up, hinge forward, find Chaturanga arms, lift one foot, maybe both. Hold, three, two, one. Lower the feet down or hop back and go through your Vinyasa. Lower halfway or all the way, Chaturanga. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Glorious breath in and out. Let go of control and free yourself. Inhale, sweep the left heel up high, single leg down dog. Exhale, knee to your left tricep. Pause, slide the knee to your wrist, back to tricep, down and up. One more down and up. Bring the knee across to the right tricep. Slide it down and up, down and up, down and up. Inhale, single leg, down dog. Exhale, step the foot in between your hands, low lunge. Inhale, rise up, high crescent lunge. Exhale, sink, pushing that right heel to the back. Relax your shoulders. Inhale, lift up, straighten the front leg. Exhale, sink back down, go deeper. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, sink. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, sink. Pause here. Let's find a twist, left arm behind you, right arm in front of you. Bring the gaze to your left fingers. Keep the shoulders or hips and sink a little bit deeper. Breathe in and out. Then hinge forward, sprinkle the right fingers down, begin to bring all the way to that left foot as you're floating the right heel up into revolt half moon. Feel that nice opening in your IT bend. Breathe in and out. Shine your heart all the way skyward. Bring the gaze down, left fingers down. Squeeze the right knee to your chest and begin to make your way up into one-legged mountain pose, hugging the right knee in. Inhale, exhale, tree pose of your choice. Hands to heart. Keeping both of your knees in one line. Soften the breath, soften your gaze. Inhale, reach the arms up, overhead. Then open the branches, spread the leaves. Inhale, exhale, arms back behind you, opposite pinky on top. Interlag, squeeze the shoulder blades, lift your heart. Take a cycle of breath. Then inhale, and as you exhale, bring your right foot down, 
and then fold forward take uttanasana with chest expansion let go of your grip hands down to the mat inhale chair pose utkatasana sit close in close again stay here or take one more bakasana crow pose high on your toes knees behind your armpits hinge forward the more you hinge forward and easier it will be lift your feet holding three two one lower your feet or half back and take vinyasa up dog inhale downward facing dog exhale breathe in and out inhale right heel up high exhale step the foot in between your hands low lunge drop your left knee down hands on top of the right knee push the knee forward and sink your hips nice and low sweep the arms up inhale bring the hands overhead lift your gaze exhale ground the hands half splits flex the right toes towards your face walk the arms forward forehead to your shin bone breathe in and out we bend into the right knee tuck your left toes under and step the foot slightly in into pyramid pose here go ahead and grab your yoga blocks inhale lengthen exhale bow fold now you can stay here in your pyramid pose or begin to work on your splits walking the blocks to the distance that feels comfortable to you then you're going to begin to slide your right foot forward left foot back behind you adjusting the blocks as you move and then finding a few bounces 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 your body pretty tight in the morning so be very mindful here but also free yourself from all negative beliefs and just allow your body to take you as deep as you can eventually with practice you will be able to find your hanuman full splits one more breath wherever you are good we will make our way back into pyramid pose so pushing the earth away then walk your right foot to the left and drop your right knee to the center of your mat sweep the left leg all the way around into cow face pose stacking both of the knees on top of each other if that's too much you can extend the right leg straight out in front of you sit nice and tall holding on your feet take a breath in and out now hinge forward maybe bring your forehead to your knees or forearms down to the floor or maybe to a yoga blocks breathing to our other hips very nice now rise up take the blocks and put them all the way behind you to the back of your mat lean forward tuck your toes under and then pivot to the right make your way to downward facing dog to the back of your mat inhale sweep your left heel up high single leg down dog exhale step that left foot in between your hands drop your right knee down both of the hands on top of your left knee push it forward and down sink the hips inhale reach the arms up drop the gaze back behind you connect your palms exhale half split hands down to your mat straighten that left leg toes towards your face walk the arms forward and fold try to square the hips as much as you can working that left hip back right hip forward breathe in and out bend into your left knee tuck the right toes under and step your right foot slightly in pyramid pose grab your blocks inhale lengthen your spine exhale fold take a moment here to enjoy the stretch 
And if you want to take your Hanuman on this side, begin to walk your blocks backward, sliding the left foot forward, right foot back. So sliding the feet away from each other, adjusting the blocks as needed, finding a few bounces, going as deep as the body allows you. Don't push yourself, but also don't limit yourself. So take time to breathe inward, to create the space to go deeper. One more breath. And we'll make our way back into pyramid pose, if you're not there. Then walk your left foot to the right and bend into that left knee, drop the left knee to the center of your mat. Sweep the right leg all the way around, coming into cow face pose. Sitting nice and tall. Again, if it's too much, extend the left leg straight out in front of you. Breathe in and out. You feel there is more room to go. Hinge forward, forehead to your knees, or forearms down to a mat. Just relax. Free yourself from any thoughts and be present in the moment with your sensations. I free myself. One more breath. Roll up, back to seated. Tuck your toes under, pivot to the left, and then make your way to downward facing dog to the front of your mat. High to your toes, inhale, ripple forward. One more vinyasa. Lower halfway, up dog, inhale, downward facing dog, exhale, glorious breath in, side out, lower down to your knees, sink your sitting ones on top of the heels, hands to your heart, with gratitude fill up. And release your gratitude to the universe. Blink your eyes to open and high five my friend. Awesome job. I'm inviting you again to take your practice of the mat into your daily life and keep freeing yourself. Just surrender and let the things fall in their own natural way. Like this video if you did enjoy the practice drop me a comment down below using our hashtag rise and shine and let me know how are you feeling today i'll see you again tomorrow from my heart to yours namaste before you go click here down below to be notified of every video i release during these 30 days and to receive absolutely free daily healthy breakfast recipes to complete your rise and shine morning routine. Also click on this video right here to do a five minute guided meditation to enhance your self-awareness and lift your spirit. Namaste and I'll see you tomorrow.